So here's how to know what people are searching on YouTube. Consider this a very quick tutorial for keyword research. I'm going to show you two ways that you can go about doing this in terms of, you know, finding appropriate keywords. The first one's going to be free and the other one is going to be free slash paid should you want to use a tool. Nevertheless, one of my favorites, the bread and butter is going to be autocomplete when it comes to YouTube. So what you want to do is first have in mind the topic, the niche or whatever it is you're going to be searching for. It could be a specific keyword. For this, I'm going to be using ClickBank, which is pretty much an affiliate marketplace where people can go sell products and promote them. So what you want to do is type in your seed keyword. This is going to be pretty much just the base of it. And if you'll notice, I hit space after it. These are going to be some of the best and biggest and most searched keywords that you'd probably want to create a video for. So we have ClickBank Affiliate Marketing for beginners, for beginners tutorial, 2023 review, and so on and so forth. So overall, these are some of the best ones right here. So if you're looking at creating videos, these are going to probably be the most powerful. Now, you can even niche it down, niche it down. That's probably not the word. You can make it a little bit more specific, but if you type in A, now you're going to get all the keywords that have ClickBank and then start with A after it. And these are going to give you even more opportunities. Given the fact that there's a lot of affiliate marketing related ones, we could probably type in affiliate space and you see there's going to be even more. Like it only shows you so many, but given the fact ClickBank is mostly about affiliate marketing, there's going to be plenty there. We can do the same thing for the rest of the letters as well. Just by doing this, this is showing you what people are actively searching for in YouTube. This is a lot of great data here. While it's not giving you the exact search volume, you can at least bet your bottom dollar people are going to be searching for things like this. So let's go with C. Okay, I'm not going to go all through the alphabet, but this is literally what you can do. D, E, F, G, H, and so on and so forth. So aside from that, that is going to be one way of doing it. And keep in mind what you can do, you can do something like is ClickBank and then from there. So what you want to do is look for questions because people are always going to have questions when it comes to platforms, products, or just like say YouTube, like YouTube could be another one. So let's say is YouTube and let's look at the most popular one, premium worth it, TV worth it, uh, and so on and so forth. There are other ways you can do that. So does YouTube, okay? And then once again, A, B, C, D. Do you see how many different keywords we can get? These are all search terms that people are searching for. Like it is amazing data. You can literally build an entire YouTube channel upon this. In fact, most of my videos are done exactly like this. So that's the free way to do it. Very easy to do. You know, you just gotta take some time, go through it and say like, who I wanna create a video about this write it down, move on to the next one and you know continue the process. So I'm gonna show you another way using a tool, which is vidIQ, give me one second. So vidIQ is cool, given the fact they do come with a free plan, it is going to be a uh, extension. So you connect it with your YouTube channel. So with the free plan, you can utilize some of their features. I do have the upgraded plan, which is gonna give you many more when it comes to keyword research, but they pretty much give you all the information I was telling you before, but they give you a search volume with it. now. Like I say, with search volumes on tools, they're pretty much going to be ballpark. They're never 100% accurate, but they'll give you a good idea if a lot of people are searching for. And of course, that's what we're looking for here. So based upon the fact that it's hooked up and connected with my YouTube channel, these are going to be right here, top keyword opportunities. And you can see the search volume of some of these are going to be huge. It also talks about the competition and of course, the overall, which is a measure of how attractive this keyword is to you as a creator, a higher number is better. So we can kind of look for the greens here. You can sort by the competition here. You can also sort by the overall. But if I scroll down, a lot of these are going to be some like the basic ones. Of course, like how to earn money online is going to be a huge one. How to make money with AI, TubeBuddy, Eleven Labs. A lot of these are products and keywords related to videos I have already created for. But if I scroll down, there's going to be a ton of them here. Even better, what they also have is going to be rising keywords. So this is good if you say have a YouTube channel where it's uh, not maybe marketing specific because these are rising keywords on all of YouTube. And if you look at this, a lot of the competition is going to be pretty high, but the volume is just so big. Like whatever this is, I don't know what that is, but there's a search volume and it's very high. There's going to be a lot of other things down here. Like I've talked about before, this might not be great for YouTube channels that are just maybe like mine, but say if you have something that's a little bit more broad, like movies or video games and stuff like that. 
let's see, Witcher season two, like that's television. But the fact here is that if you create a video based around some of these keywords, yeah, you're probably not going to rank at the top. But given the fact there's so much search volume, you're probably going to get a lot more views given the fact you can show up on suggested or related videos and so on and so forth. Then there is one more thing I want to show you, which is my favorite in terms of keywords, how to find what people are searching for. So I went to keywords and I clicked on, well, I put in ClickBank and then I clicked on it. And you're going to see we have so many more recommendations. We have related keywords, we have matching terms and questions. And in my opinion, I think questions is one of the best aspects for keywords. Let me click on this right here. Once again, these are just more keywords that people are searching for in YouTube, and it gives you the competition and the overall. So if you take a look at these, like how to promote ClickBank products, how to open a ClickBank account, how to create an account, how it works, how to promote products for free. Uh, that one's in Spanish. Some of these are in Spanish, which is fine. You know, if you want to create a video in Spanish, you can, or you can just move on to the next one, how to promote products on Instagram, what is ClickBank marketing, and so on and so forth. And I'm scrolling down and there are a lot of these. You can obviously be a little bit more specific where say if you find a keyword using an, the YouTube method, which I showed you, you can type it into here. So let's go back one second. Let's do is ClickBank. And once again, we have more related when it comes to is ClickBank in it. So this is just a great way of finding even more. So like, where is the nickname at ClickBank? Is ClickBank legit? What is the affiliate marketing and so on and so forth? I think you get the idea, but these are two great ways of being able to find what people are searching for in YouTube. I think that's the most important thing, especially if you're just getting started and it's good to create videos around what people are searching for because you know there is a need and a want for it. So it makes it much easier for you to get views in the long run. Nevertheless, that's my quick tutorial. If you do want to check out vidIQ, I will leave my link down below for them. They do come with the ability to use a free option. And of course, if you want to upgrade like I did, you can. Nevertheless, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.